Hello everyone and welcome to Usability. Today we are going to see how to play Top Top Symphony on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Top Top Symphony and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Top Top Symphony. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all my friends, the first thing to do is to launch our main browser. We open the one we use by default. Let's go to this URL that I have highlighted in green color. Now, you are able to discover on the screen. There is no need to type anything, simply because there's a clickable link in the description of this video and as well in the first main comment. We landed at this point on our internet site of Usitility, at which we include a meticulous information on how you can obtain TalkTop Symphony on computer. We scroll lower a bit and then click on the Download Game on PC button. Once we click on that link, we reach the website of Bluestacks. No panic, it is simply the Android emulator that we are going to run to play TalkTop Symphony on our PC. It is now obvious that we get some pros of using that emulator. Now we are on the way to start downloading the TalkTop Symphony by clicking on this button play on Bluestacks that you can see here in green color. We then click on this button. And the download starts and ends immediately. Voila! Here is located the download. It is a file we have to execute. What we are going to do now is to launch the executable file. Ok, then we click on this file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to allow changes to the system. We clicked yes. I minimize the web browser to start to see the installer considerably better. The installer is straightforward. It includes a couple of choices, install, and setup path. I will make it clear what setup path truly does. We basically just click on it. So we realize that we get here the path where the emulator is going to be placed. If we are planning to change for better this directory we have to click on the Browse option, and we select another folder and set up the emulator specifically where we prefer. I will leave it as it is. I simply click on Back. So I pick Install. Voila! The install begins and it will go forward along with the download of those MB that happens to be visible on that computer screen. Once you download it, it may be more or less MB. The data transfer rate can be at a higher speed or slower, determined by your type of connection and according to the speed of the emulator servers. Today they're going extremely fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance-related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this moment, the emulator has actually been started instantly. As you can observe, at the bottom of the screen, there is a progress bar which will move forward to the right then when it gets into the finish, the emulator is going to be started for the first time. The truth is the emulator is already launched, there for the first time. Before we carry on, as can be seen, it made a couple of software icons right here on the computer desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks app icon will be one we're considering. Each time we want to operate TalkTop Symphony on the desktop or laptop, we twice click on that software icon and consequently launch the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Why don't we make the next step, which is actually a requirement, and this is to begin to browse the Google Play Store. And we will mouse click on Play Store. As you can observe the Google Play is presented. At this point we need to log on. At this point the moment we are right here, we must definitely execute this next phase that is obligatory. So that we simply click on, sign in. At this moment it announces, checking info. It might from time to time get stopped at, checking info, and so it fails to continue. If that's the case, you should try to connect to your account after a couple of hours it's going to most probably be corrected. At this moment we can type in our email address and password. The email really needs to be a Gmail email address as well as its related password. For instance you may use the very same email you're using at this time in your own YouTube account. So that I will enter my details and I'll revisit as soon as I have done it. That's it, information inserted. Discover Google welcoming us and supplying us their twos. We would consent to them by simply hitting, I agree. Following, it allow us to back up to the Google Cloud. You could keep it selected and this will make a backup of your data on that device to Google Drive. I am not going to select it, you can make use of this option if you prefer. We click accept. Google Play Store is started by default and immediately. To set up the video game, we are required to get to the emulator desktop by left clicking this app icon marked green colored. Right now that we are exploring the desktop of the emulator for Android, we notice that we have now there the install app option. We just click on that button. There we come with the video game. 
Let's quickly simply click now on the install choice that I am showing now in green. And this will launch the setup. Right now it is going to install the Android game, it usually takes a little while or it may just be very fast. This all is subject to on the internet access. This has just finished setting up. Now, let's go to the emulator desktop by simply clicking on this specific button I'm showing in green, that allows you to use TalkDop Symphony for the very first time. We're presently on the emulator desktop, then we're preparing to mouse click on the brand new TalkDop Symphony software icon that was created. This Android game is launched for the first time. Now there we get it, I can also mouse click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I should talk about the volume level of the emulator. This is right here. We have got the icon of higher volume along with the icon of lower volume, this manner we won't count on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the music of the emulator. And to appreciate the experience to the greatest, we could activate the large monitor, for which we have two alternatives. This is simply the first one, we just click on that software icon which I am basically showing in green color. And the display screen is maximized, offering one border on top, one on the right side and the third one at the bottom. In the event that we choose to appreciate the app using all the screen, we hit this particular software icon. And we'd presently be enjoying the game app in 100% screen function. To quit the complete screen setting, push the F11 key. And we'd now be in standard display setting. That present, I am on the way to reveal you the keys mapping that is definitely surprisingly enjoyable. This strategy we will certainly be in a position to use the video game far more effortlessly. The first task is to press this keyboard icon. It's now time to make the appropriate controls. I most certainly will let the default settings, but if you wish to change this, you can also do so with no problem. Perhaps you have realized, the emulator is fully in our language. Once in a while it occurs that your emulator is presented in the erroneous language, such as, in Chinese language. And then to set it up in the appropriate language we click here to the cogwheel. Then right here inside of additional options, we mouse click on the language drop down. We may very well go with the language we like, Italian, Chinese, and so on. Once the language is selected, we are going to save, the emulator will reboot, and the Android game, next time we start it, would also be in the chosen language. At this point, you will find another aspect that we need to take into consideration, and this is that we will get an email reporting that a brand new equipment has been linked to our own Google account. It will check with us if we are the people who have associated with that electronic device. Yes, we ought not get worried, simply because the emulator is acting as an Android electronic device. In order to determine which electronic device is currently being emulated, we go right here, to the cogwheel and we mouse click on it. Therefore we browse here to the, model, option. And there we determine that the emulator is simulating a Samsung smartphone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all guys, so much for this video tutorial. I sincerely hope you appreciated it, especially that everyone found it handy. If that's the case, allow it a good like, subscribe, and any feedback, requests or suggestions, let them in the comment field down below. Click on any of these video tutorials that happens to be showing up on the screen and see you in the next video game videos. Bye.